Welcome to Easy Learning. A simple way to find the number of protons, electrons and neutrons of an atom. Contents of this video. Elementary introduction to atom, ion, subatomic particles, protons, electrons and neutrons, isotopes, atomic number and atomic mass mass number. A simple way to find the number of protons, electrons and neutrons. An atom is the smallest constituent unit of matter that has the properties of the chemical element. Atoms are extremely small, typical sizes are around 100 picometers, a trillionth of a meter. Every atom is composed of a nucleus and one or more electrons bound to the nucleus. The nucleus is made of one or more protons and almost similar number of neutrons. Protons and neutrons are called nucleons. The electrons of an atom are attracted to the protons in an atomic nucleus by electromagnetic force. The protons and neutrons in the nucleus are attracted to each other by nuclear force, which is usually stronger than the electromagnetic force repelling the positively charged protons from one another. An illustration of the helium atom, depicting the nucleus, protons and neutrons, in the center and the electrons revolving around the nucleus in orbits. The electron is the least massive of these particles at 9.11 times 10 power negative 31 kilograms, with a negative electrical charge. Protons have a positive charge and a mass 1836 times that of the electron, at 1.6726 times 10 power negative 27 kilograms. The number of protons in an atom is called its atomic number denoted by Z. Neutrons have no electrical charge and have a mass of 1839 times the mass of the electron, at 1.6929 times 10 power negative 27 kilograms, almost same as that of protons. As the mass of electron is comparatively negligible compared to the mass of proton and neutron, we can conclude that mass of an atom is practically due to protons and neutrons. That is, more than 99.94% of an atom's mass is in the nucleus. Note. Hydrogen atom has no neutrons, so its mass is from proton alone, as the number of protons and electrons are equal, atom is electrically neutral. Note, if an atom gain or lose electrons, then it has an overall negative or positive charge, respectively, and it is called an ion. The simplest way to find the number of protons, neutrons and electrons for an element is to get the element's atomic number and mass number. Atomic number, represented by Z, is a number equal to the number of protons. The number of protons is equal to the number of electrons in an atom. In the previous uploaded video a simple way to memorize first 20 elements of the periodic table, we have learned how to memorize the elements in serial order. Refer my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Now we can easily write the symbol of first 20 elements, and from the symbol we can write the element name and serially the atomic number. The number of protons, P+, plus, is equal to the atomic number, Z, of the element. The number of electrons, E-, minus, is equal to the number of protons, P+, plus, in an atom. As we have seen that the mass of an atom is practically due to protons and neutrons alone, the mass number of an atom, represented by A, is the sum of the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom. The mass of an atom of any natural element is taken as the average mass of all the naturally occurring atoms of that element. If an element has no isotopes, then the mass of its atom would be the same as the sum of protons and neutrons in it. But if an element occurs in isotopic forms, then we have to know the percentage of each isotopic form and the average mass is calculated. Isotopes and the method to calculate the average mass in isotopic form explained next. Isotopes are defined as the atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass numbers. In nature, a number of atoms of some elements have been identified as isotopes. Many elements consist of a mixture of isotopes. The chemical properties of isotopes are similar but their physical properties are different. For example, chlorine occurs in nature in two isotopic forms, with masses 35U and 37U in the ratio of 3 to 1. Now, the question arises is, what should be taken as the mass of chlorine atom? Chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 are in the ratio 3 to 1. That is, 3 parts of chlorine 35 and 1 part of chlorine 37, in 4 parts of chlorine. 
the average atomic mass of chlorine atom, we get, 35 times 3 quarters plus 37 times 1 quarter equals 105 fourths plus 37 fourths equals 142 fourths equals 35.5 u. This does not mean that any one atom of chlorine has a fractional mass of 35.5 u. It means that if we take a certain amount of chlorine, it will contain both isotopes of chlorine and the average mass of atom is 35.5 u. In the previous uploaded video a simple way to get atomic mass of first 20 elements of the periodic table we have learned how to get atomic mass of elements from their atomic numbers. Refer my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Now we can easily write the mass number of first 20 elements from their atomic number. Note, for chlorine, Cl. Mass number is taken as 35. Number of neutrons can be obtained using the formula. Number of neutrons, N, equals mass number, A, minus atomic number, Z. For more about atoms, orbits, shells, electronic configuration, distribution of electrons in shells, valence electrons and valency, refer previous uploaded video a simple way to understand and memorize the valency of the first 20 elements of the periodic table on my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos on physics, chemistry and mathematics. Check my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Suggestions can be mailed at ag.easylearning at gmail.com.